This video is brought to you by Miniature Market. Thousands of board games, discounted prices, miniaturemarket.com. Hello my friends, it's the Game Boy Geek here. Today, put on your backpack because we're going to be traveling. Yeah, we're traveling all over the place. Maybe we're going on planes, maybe we're going on trains. When we're traveling, we need something compact to put in our backpack to play a game. Today we're looking at the compact travel edition of Catan. The new fifth edition of Catan where it doesn't say Settlers of Catan anymore, it just says Catan. This small little pack that has a nice little carry pouch here, actually you can play a full game of Settlers of Catan, four players here. It also has two player rules as well. Uh, let me show you what comes in this, how does it all fit here, how does it put together, and how does it work. Let me show you and I'll see you on the other side. Here is the Catan Traveler Edition. What I'm gonna do is just show you how this comes out. Sort of a pyramid or a shape. This just comes out like this. And actually some of the boards are hidden in there, but it all does fit quite nicely. Now, what happens is this itself folds up like that. And so now we have the board. Now in the rulebook, there is a way to set this up for a basic game, sort of a beginner's game, and it uses the tiles and they're labeled in a specific way. So essentially we'd put A1 here, we've got A2 there, we've got A3 here, we've got A4 there, we've got A5 here, and we've got A6 here. Now, these themselves have double-sided and with different things on them. So for example, this looks like this. Okay, and these can be placed anywhere, so you can really do a completely randomized setup as well. I want to show you how some of these uh, hold, hold the items. So this just slides up, and this is sort of all the pieces I'd say just for the blue team. And if this person has, let's say you could put a settlement, which is like that, or you could upgrade it to a city, which essentially it looks the same, but it has sort of a tip on the top of it there. So those just have a tip and that one's like that. You could also build roads and they all just sort of stay in like that. And so that's how the blue person can build and that's how that's stored there. Now this one is stored, it has both pieces, but it also has this thing that slides right out. And here we have all the cards for the game. So here's your, here's your wool and wood and uh, brick there, and it has all different ways. This holds all the cards, pretty much most of them in the game here, uh, but they do fit right back in, just right in there. All right, here, pull us out, we have another player. We have the robber, which will go on the board, and then this is the cool dice. How do you roll dice without flying anywhere? Just go like that, and it rolls the dice pretty cool there. And the last little open up here, we have another player. And then another thing of cards that has sort of more of the resource cards and the development cards. And again, this actually comes right out that you can put up on the table and it keeps it from the cards falling around. Very good travel addition here. Well, there it is, a cool little product. Now, I recently reviewed Catan itself um, and kind of whatever my thoughts about that. Now this, obviously you need to have known how to play that game to make this overview any useful because I was just kind of showing you how it works, how does it pack, how does it set up, and things like that. And I think if you're a fan of Catan, which I'm not really, uh, I'm a fan of, of it in general, and what it has done for the hobby, what it continues to do for the hobby, but as the gameplay itself, I'm not a super big fan of it, but I can definitely see why people might like it. Uh, Catan itself, this little travel edition, if you like Catan, I think this is a great little thing where if, if, if you travel a lot uh, and you don't want to pack a big box full of stuff, I think this is a cool little thing. You can flip it up even on a plane if there's three of you sitting there and you each have your own little cards, you have the board. Um, if you're traveling, you just have to put a small thing in your suitcase and play at a little cafe somewhere while you're traveling. I think it's a good idea. I think it has a market. Obviously, Catan has a gigantic market for people that want the smaller version to be able to just carry it around and open it up. That's excellent. Two player rules, eh. You roll twice for production, you get both productions. You gotta, you know, if you do something, you gotta do something to a, a, a computer type player, a non-playing character. I'm not a big fan of games that are not designed for two players, that when you try to play with two players, they play with extra people. I'm just not a big fan of that. However, if you're a super huge Catan fan, maybe you wanna try out and see if it works for you. For me, the four player game is where this game's at anyway. 
But overall, great little package. If you like it, this should be something that you might want to look into if you travel, because it is definitely a nice package, well made, well orchestrated, well engineered. I like how all the little bits and stuff fit there. Interesting to idea. So if you like Catan and you travel a lot, this thing might just be for you. This video was sponsored by Miniature Markets Review Corner. The Review Corner features podcasts, video, and written game reviews by gamers for gamers. Miniature Market, the online gaming superstore. Thousands of board games, discounted prices. Check them out at miniaturemarket.com.